the countries that employ it. Now let's take a look at Google Earth. Uh, this is a view of Google Earth. Now my contention is that uh, collectivism will collapse economies and uh, although a lot of people contend that capitalism has failed actually the free market hasn't failed it's collectivism that has failed we had that in Russia uh, we had that in China and uh, now uh, we have the Communist Party in China but again uh, don't attach a lot of importance to labels the label that we have in America is a constitutional republic of course we are moving rapidly into a police state dictatorship so labels don't really mean a lot but nevertheless China has adopted mainly free market principles Russia of course collapsed and was forced to adopt those and uh, the rest of most of Asia except for Japan is uh, operating under a free market model so what is left in the world now of socialism is the European Union Britain America and uh, Japan and uh, it's my prediction that you will see the final collapse of the collectivist slash socialist model as these countries which are now operating more than ever under a collectivist model begin to collapse under the unsustainable weight of uh, promises that cannot be fulfilled we know that the social security system is a Ponzi scheme that will collapse we know that the uh, food stamp numbers have reached nearly 50 million the uh, retirement numbers are 30 and 40 million the government jobs I've covered those time and time again uh, they're uh, the employees of the various state county city federal government levels are all in the process of uh, taking as much wealth as they possibly can so we're in the process right now of seeing the collapse of the last semi-socialist or collectivist areas that's going to be Europe, the United States, Japan, and perhaps Australia. When those collapse, the collectivist model will be thoroughly discredited. Of course, that collapse is going to be accompanied by an explosive rise in the price of real stuff. And, of course, gold and silver are the best real investments you can have just because of the nature of them, because they are money. So that's what we're looking for and uh, it's not too far off in the future because the United States is hurtling towards a collapse and the fiscal cliff and all of the machinations of politicians aren't going to make a difference uh, all of these obligations are going to be reneged upon what you need to do at this point is to begin to foster self-reliance uh, independence and uh, the stacking of physical silver and physical gold so that you can weather the storm that's coming and come out on the other side successful and we'll talk to you next time